thoughts. In 1937, Mao identified 11 ways in which liberalism manifests itself. I've identified a few more. These are not meant to replace the old list, but to supplement it. The following are the types of liberalism I've observed. To address social problems by commodifying them and making them profitable to private corporations. Often just outright giving taxpayer money to private corporations. This is one type of liberalism. To create false equivalencies between fascist actions and anti-fascist actions. To define freedom in a negative sense based on property rights rather than a positive sense based on human rights. To gaslight and pretend that the absolute obvious things that should be done, like free housing, are pie in the sky childish things to suggest. To genuflect to the right wing talking points in one breath while pretending not to agree with them in the, in the other. To buy into the propaganda and revisionist history that America is some sort of salvation army to the rest of the world rather than a rogue state. To look at issues like imperialism, climate change, poverty, etc. in a vacuum rather than a direct result of capitalist system. To fail to realize that the only true democracy is economic democracy. To fail to see that bourgeois elections only give them the illusion of control. To propose milk toast reforms that never challenge the power of the ruling class, but at best tax them a little more. To worship billionaires and justify gross wealth inequality as fair. To fail to understand their own ideology and instead assume liberalism is just, a com is just common sense. To pretend your ideology is about justice and equality for everyone when that has never actually been the case and when in fact their freedom is only available to the ownership class. To pretend to value freedom yet constantly argue in favor of corporate hegemony. To feign concern about how to pay for things and use that as a cudgel to prevent anything that might help the working class. To blame social problems on minorities rather than the ownership class or capitalism itself. To be indifferent, apathetic to, or actively against the liberation of oppressed people such as people of color, women, gays, trans, etc. To pretend that capitalism is quote unquote human nature despite the system being only like 300 years old. To be outraged when the state taxes them at 30%, but not by an eye when their employer taxes their paycheck at 80% by appropriating the surplus, the surplus value they create. To believe you're free because you can choose your owner, failing to see that you belong to the ownership class. To laugh at conservatives for vote, voting against their own interests while doing everything they can to prevent socialism. To support imperialism or pretend to be against it while genuflecting to imperialist talking points. To justify imperialist wars in the name of human rights. To think capitalism would somehow suck less if there were no consumer protections, building regulations, or food and drug safety agencies. To deflect and dismiss all negative features of capitalism as somehow quote unquote crony capitalism or not real capitalism. To blame big systemic issues caused by capitalism like climate change or poverty on individuals. To criticize the state in the economic sphere, but not once question it when it comes to bombing poor brown kids in other countries. To defend fascist hate speech based on abstract principles and thus normalizing it and creating fertile ground for it to fester and metastasize. To believe that money in politics is the root of all political problems failing to see that it's just one of many problems inherent to capitalism and that you cannot permanently abolish the former without abolishing the latter. Failing to see the grotesque injustice of the so-called free market which allocates things based on who can afford it rather than based on need. To allow a single person or small group of people to own the means of production and thus to profit off of other people's work. To believe in some mythical time when capitalism was actually good. To cynically weaponize identity politics and endorse diversity in order to avoid making any real changes to the system that leads to the oppression of people in the first place. To fail to see that imperialism and fascism are both inherent to capitalism. To learn about how this country was built on genocide, slavery, racism, and sexism but get super offended and deny it if you say it out loud. To blame the victims when police use excessive force, 
oftentimes leading to death. To bog down debates and definitions of different fascist actions in order to prevent actually criticizing those fascist actions. To be cocksure about the virtues of capitalism despite never hearing, let alone critically considering, the arguments against it. To believe you can reform the system through voting in the polite petition, the officially endorsed quiet gathering. To believe that we live in a meritocracy, or that it would be a good thing if we did. To be incredibly smug about wanting to change nothing about the status quo. Liberalism conflicts fundamentally with socialism. It is negative and objectively has the effect of helping the ruling class. This is why the ruling class welcomes its preservation. Such being its nature, there should be no place for it in our ranks.